Welcome to the Fire and Patriot channel. I recently did a video of five reasons why you should buy the car CW380 over the Ruger LCP2. Now today in my hand I have the Ruger LCP2 and I'm going to do a video of five reasons that you should buy the Ruger LCP2 over the car CW380. Now, I've been carrying this gun since October of 2016 when it came out, and I've got to tell you, it's an exceptional little pistol. It carries very well, and it shoots very well. And it's probably one of the best deep concealed carry firearms on the market that you can buy in this particular caliber in this price range. So I wanna go ahead and take a little bit closer look at the five reasons why I think you should buy this pistol over the car CW380. Number five, the Ruger comes with a pinky extension base plate and a flat base plate. The pinky extension does a very good job of allowing you to get two fingers very securely on the grip of the pistol, which is very appreciated given the fact that this is a lightweight, very small pistol and can be hard to control even with a 380 caliber. The car itself only comes with a six round magazine and no extension on the base plate whatsoever. Number four, the Ruger represents a very good value coming in around $220 at a lot of stores at this time. The car still comes in right around $300, so that's an $80 difference. Neither gun comes with an extra magazine, so you can buy an extra magazine with that additional money. Also, you could buy an additional holster, but the Ruger itself comes with a pocket holster that works pretty well. It's not the best holster in the world, but it does do the job. The car comes with no additional accessories other than the one round magazine. Number three, the slide is very easy to work on the Ruger LCP2 much more so than on the car. The car has a very stiff spring. And what that means is, is that more people will be able to operate the slide and clear a jam if that's necessary or pull the slide back if you need to reload. So that's number three. Number two is reliability. I have found that the Ruger LCP2 pretty much eats any type of ammo that you feed in it. Not so the case with the car. It is a little ammo sensitive, so reliability wins out with the Ruger. Last but not least is the number one reason to buy the Ruger over the car CW380, and that's the single action trigger on the Ruger. Probably one of the best triggers that you're gonna see on one of these pocket pistol 380s. Go ahead and show it to you. The gun's clear and just give you an idea. It has some slight take up, as you can see, actually quite a bit of take up. It has its trigger safety in the center, and then you hit a wall, and then snap. Reset, very short. Look at about a five and a half to a six pound trigger on the Ruger. Now I'm not going to tell you that the car is not maybe a, has a less trigger pull, but it is a much longer trigger pull and the reset's much longer. So what that does is, is it gives you more opportunity to pull the gun off target when you're shooting it. I have found that it is easier to put rounds on the target with the Ruger LCP2. So those are my five reasons to buy the Ruger LCP2 over the car CW380. With that being said, this is the Firearm Patriot. Till next time, God bless America.